Hello and a very warm welcome to the Insta class by Amity Online. So I hope you all are able to listen to me. Am I audible? Great. That's wonderful. So very warm welcome everybody to the online class by Amity. So today we are going to cover a very interesting topic and the topic is telephone etiquette. Though uh, this uh, word and this concept, you know, it may sound very familiar and it would be very easy for every one of us, yet sometimes we don't follow the protocols. So before starting the telephone etiquette, let me explain to you what do we mean by etiquette. Can anybody tell me what do we mean by etiquette? So what do you mean by etiquette? Etiquette. Because today we are going to talk about telephone etiquette. So can anybody just message me? I have Golu Singh online. Wonderful. Welcome to MIT online. Great, great, great. So yes. So what do you mean by etiquette? So etiquette is a ticket. Etiquette is a ticket and it is a ticket to success. Right. And today we're going to talk about the telephone etiquette. So let me tell you one, um, you know, one incident. Uh, a month back, you know, I was very hungry and it was afternoon. And I called up a famous restaurant over here in my city. I just called them up to order burger, you know, and I called them up and I was like, hello, hello. And there was no one. Somebody just picked up the phone and you know no greeting and i was like a captain saying hello anybody there hello anybody there and that person just put my call on hold oh my god and that person just put my call on hold and you can well imagine you know how was i feeling at that time definitely yes i was feeling disappointed i was feeling very disappointed and believe me i was pissed off I am their customer, I am their client, and I've called them to place an order. However, there is nobody to receive that call. And I kept on saying, hello, 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 hello. No response. And yet, I just kept the phone down. I was completely pissed off from that restaurant. And I promised myself, I promised myself that I'm not going to call that restaurant again. So, dear friends, it's very important to understand and learn about the telephone etiquette, specifically in business, uh, you know, settings. Because etiquette, as I already told you, it is the passport to success. It's very, very important. So, we should understand and, you know, completely take care of the protocols whenever we are in corporate settings. So, I would, first of all, try to tell you and explain to you what are the five P's of telephone so what are the five p's of telephone ever answering the call first of all is p p means that we have to be very very polite so whenever somebody calls up we have to be very polite we have to be very courteous and we have to answer them yes definitely we have to answer the call within three rings and we have to you know introduce ourselves and we have to speak clearly that's very very important but we have to be very very polite because as you know our image matters so no doubt you know nobody is going to see how do we look in the telephone yet our voice speaks at all and according to albert Mehrbian rule you know it is very important uh you know to you know to cast the first powerful impression even your voice your voice modulation that's very very important because the person can come to know and understand whatever you say right so it's very important to be polite first p is polite and be very courteous second is to be prepared you know whenever you are answering the call or whenever you are calling somebody you should be all prepared you should be all prepared you should actively listen and you should take the notes so that you understand the other person's point of view very well next is you should be to the point because some, but sometimes what it happens is that our statements are very vague and we just, our, these statements are not clear. So we should be to the point because whenever we are to the point, we should not, you know, just beat about the push. We should be very, very, we should, you know, speak to the point. 
Then next P is perceptive, perceptions. You know, we should be very, very insightful. You should know the other person's point of view. You should be empathetic and you should know the perspective of other person. So when you are perceptive and you perceive the other person, so you should not waste people time and be very, very insightful. Next is that we should be very, very cooperative. You know, when we are cooperative, we listen to the other person, we empathize with them. And that is the reason when we empathize with them, we cooperate with them, that the other person would also try to and would give us business again and again. So these were the five P's which are very, very important when we talk about the telephone etiquette. Right. Another point, uh, you know, it's very important is picture. You know, what does picture mean? Picture is again, you know, as I already told you that according to Albert Meherbian, when we talk about image, so 55% role in casting the first impression is through our body language and 38% is through our paraverbal. So what is paraverbal? Paraverbal is all about our pitch, all about our volume, all about our tone right all about our word stress so in telephone etiquette it is very important to understand these paraverbals because these paraverbals will give you a upper hand and they will help you to understand the other point of view and would help you uh, you know well it would help the other person also to understand you better so again in picture the word p it stands for pitch it stands for the quality of sound so it really, really matters. Your pitch really matters. Then when we come to I, it's again about inflection. Inflection is again the modulation of your voice because the modulation of the voice again casts the impression and the receiver also comes to know and understand from your inflection what you want to say. Then C again is very important and I repeat it's curtsy. Curtsy is so very important because, again, it's all about etiquette. So curtsy is very, very important. Then T is your tone. So your tone, again, is very important. If you want to say somebody that I'm really happy to receive your call, and if you say I'm really happy to receive your call, you know, it would sound that, yes, your words are telling that you are happy, but your tone isn't. So it should, you know, your words and your tone should be matching. And when they are matching, they would give the receiver the exact message what you want to say. So it's very, very important to use the appropriate tone. You is all about understanding. You should understand the other point of view. You should understand the other person's ideas, its view. R, R is again about the rate of speech. You know, like how many words are you speaking per second? So again, you know, your rate of speech should also be, you know, appropriate. So these were the very, very important things which I wanted to bring in your notice. E is again your enunciation. And enunciation means that you have to pronounce the words very, very clearly. Because if you pronounce the word, your pronunciation really matters when it comes to telephone etiquette. So again, I repeat the word picture. It talks about pitch. It's talk about inflection it talks about curtsy it talks about tone it talks about understanding it talks about rate of speech and e it talks about enunciation so these were the very very important things you know which we have to keep in mind i know you know we in whenever it comes to telephone etiquettes we deliberately don't say anything but yet you know we are uh, you don't follow these protocols you know in the business setting but if we follow it that's very very important etiquette and it really counts again there are some forbidden words which we should really avoid when it comes to the telephone etiquette so what are those for example if somebody calls up and we say no no so no means what so now if anybody you know, just has this word no we should just these are forbidden words so we should not use no you know instead of no we sh we can say that okay let me find out some solution for you let me find out something better so no should be completely forbidden you know it should not be uh, used right second when we say that i don't know I don't know. So instead of saying, saying, I don't know, we can just say, let me find out for you. Because if you say, let me find out for you, that would sound better, isn't it? 
I hope everybody is with me. So we should say, uh, I don't know, I don't know. We can say, okay, let me just find it for you and get back to you because that would be most appropriate. And I know the other person who is receiving the, uh, receiving the call would really appreciate it. Because in today's time, the most important asset, I would say, is time. It's time. So everybody's time is very, very precious. So we should understand and we should respect the other point of view. We should respect the time. And when it comes to telephone etiquette, as I already said that, yes, tone, page, volume, word stress, the paraverbals are very important. And side by side, it's very important how we say you know how we say is very important the words are important what we say definitely yes but how we say is equally important so yes so i was talking about the forbidden words and i talked about no that we should not use this word no instead we should say let me find out no i can't do it like we can say let me find out for you and you know if we say that we can't do it would say let me see what we can do together because these are the things which really really counts and if we use them definitely this would form that right impression in the mind of the receiver sometimes what happens is that somebody calls and we are you know not in a good mood and we just carry that mood in our tone we should just be in a good mood whenever we are in the corporate setting we should be in a good mood and we should be in a good mood because you know our mood really reflects in our tone so friends it's very very important to have that good mood because if you have a good mood that would reflect in your tone when it comes to telephone etiquette again i told you that etiquette is a passport it is a ticket to success so this telephone etiquette really counts I've heard a lot many times my friends saying and many of my colleagues telling me that somebody called up and he just started hello hello yes is it so and so yes and he just started talking then did and just started babbling so instead of just speaking your point of view what is very important is to ask the other person that is it the right time to talk is it the right time to talk because if the person says yes then we can move ahead and if not then we can have another time and then talk about it that's very very basic etiquette but yet sometimes we just ignore it again you know we should make a habit and we should make a habit again when it comes to telephone etiquette we should make a habit and we should make a habit of helping the other person for example in office setting somebody comes up and asks for some you know even on the telephone you know because i know sometimes the calls are external because some customers they call up to know something but sometimes the calls are even internal and from the internal department whenever somebody calls up we said hello yes yes okay fine yes no not right now okay we will do it so whenever even if the call is internal from your internal people then also our tone and whenever we receive that call it should be hello hello how can i help you so you could again ask that how can you help so that word help is very very important in the telephone etiquette and you should make it a habit of helping people of making of being empathetic then again, second is effort. You know, when it comes to telephone etiquette, effort is very important. Sometimes a person calls up and we don't make an effort to answer that call properly. And we just say, no, no, it's not my business. It's not my cup of, you know, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my business. Somebody's other, you know, it is someone else's work. No, make an effort and make an effort to solve that problem. Make an effort to connect that person with the right source. Very, very important. Then listening listening is very important because this listening is very crucial because when it comes to telephone etiquette it is again about communication it's all about communication skills and listening is so very important listening you know we all know that there is a difference between listening and hearing when we hear we just hear but when we listen we concentrate you know we listen with full emotion you know we are emotionally connected to that person so listening is very important in telephone etiquette and that's the difference and that's the difference between a speaker uh you know a person a speaker who listens uh, uh you know whenever you call somebody and you say oh my god that is such a wonderful uh you know person he listens to the other person so listening is very very important Next is promise. Promise is again, a promise means that if you promise somebody that, yes, I'll just connect back to you within five minutes and in telephone etiquette, that's again a very, very important etiquette that you should connect with that person 
within five minutes. Sometimes it is seen and is observed that we say, okay, just wait for a second. But that second, second, second turns into minutes and minutes turn into hours and the person keeps on waiting. So please never give those false promises. If you say five minutes or if you say a second, it should be a second. So understand, empathize and, you know, respect the other person's time. Time is very crucial. Somebody has given you time. Somebody has made an effort to call you. So appreciate that person. Appreciate the person's messages. So that's very, very important part when it comes to the telephone etiquette. Another very important part in telephone etiquette is the fairness. Fairness is all about you have to be fair. Fair means that your, you know, uh, your dealing should be fair and it should be equal with everybody. Right. We should not be prejudiced. Right. So I believe that if you adopt these, uh, you know, strategies, you these strategies, these telephone etiquette strategies, whichever we have discussed right now, you would be able to solve a lot many problems. And when again, I would say a telephone etiquette is all about communication. It's all about the soft skill and communication. You know, telephone etiquette is all again, again about your communication. How well are you as a communicator? So for the best of telephone etiquette, please become a good communicator who listens who empathizes and who understands the other point of view and if you follow these strategies i'm very sure you won't have any problem in understanding and listening to the other point of view thank you for having me thank you so much